So first, looking at where we've got to with IFRS, it, it's kind of coming in fairly substantial waves because when it first started being used in a great extent, because it was an EU legal requirement, at that stage, the standards which were put in place were described as the stable platform. And the idea was that, that would be the platform for about the next five years, which was largely up to about 2010. There was then a few changes, especially around business combinations. But the next big wave of standards then came about five or six years later. And that included things like uh, IFRS 15, dealing with revenue recognition, IFRS 9, dealing with financial instruments. Both of those came in now about five years ago. And then the year later, in 2019, IFRS 16. And those are very kind of universally felt changes. And that is why we've got separate modules looking at each of those in a bit more detail, because it is possible there will be issues in there which could resonate with many preparers under these standards. Moving through into the most recent year, some of the things then being raised, as we started to see Bank of England base rates going up, inflation going up, they immediately picked up on how those changing discount rates were being reflected. And that ties into the next thing they looked at, which is on the treatment of judgments and estimates. And all of that kind of subjective area in the reporting. And it's almost reflecting as we are moving more to these kind of fair valued judgmental issues, whether it's around provisions, discount rates, you know, even looking at the things like a, a, a warranty provision. You can't get these numbers right. But what you can do is you can do the process properly and you can explain to people what the process is. I mentioned it was from the autumn before. They picked up again on disclosures around greenhouse gases, sustainability, but this time picking up what is coming from the, the task force on financial disclosure around the environment and fully endorsing their conclusions. 